Hello and welcome to another Peace Security Channel review. Today I'll be testing the very anticipated Trend Micro Maximum Protection Beta for 2015. Now they have released it uh, for quite a while and uh, when I got a chance I just grabbed it and now I'm going to take a look at it. So first of all you cannot get your eyes off this user interface. It is wonderful. It is definitely one of the best user interfaces I've seen in a long time. And uh, seeing that most other products have made a downgrade, this seems to be a very welcome new user interface. It is just really simple and easy to use. There are no unnecessary complexities. It's just beautiful. And uh, there's a lot of eye candy in here. I mean, the scan and all the animations are really well done. The fonts and the color scheme, it all just um, fits so nicely and uh, it's its a lot of eye candy in here. So I really liked that and uh, the really nice thing is basically you can get anywhere uh, with the, just the click of a button. Like when you want to go to advanced settings, it's just simple as that. So let's take a look at what they offer in terms of protection. So they have their basic real-time protection and they scan for suspicious files as the computer starts. Now an interesting new change is uh, in the protection level. Usually you have to select whether it's normal or hypersensitive, but now it can switch automatically between the two levels. So let's say you have some file that is suspicious and then uh, the behavior blocker becomes hypersensitive. So it basically works automatically so that's much more like it and they've got joke programs PUP so basically it blocks everything and uh, you have some kind of uh, security vulnerability checkup so this is all nice to have in a full suite you can schedule your scans of course and uh, you've got internet and email controls so you can change the aggressive, normal, or low protection strength, and um, you can basically block potentially dangerous websites. It's turned on by default, as you would expect. And okay, so there is a script, uh, malicious script prevention here too. So that's nice. Now the only thing that's pretty disappointing about Trend Micro is that they still haven't come up with a full featured firewall, even in their most uh, expensive suite, which is a little bit disappointing because after all, I mean, Windows Firewall is not all that great. So I don't know exactly how this firewall booster works, but um, I would like to see a full featured firewall in a full security suite. It just feels incomplete without a fully featured firewall with all the hips features and all that. So never mind. They do have a behavior blocker, so that is their zero day protection. So it seems fairly well equipped. Now let's put it to the test and see if it's uh, as strong as it looks. So now I'll let it update and uh, then we can start the prevention test. Alright, so as you can see, this thing is com now completely up to date. We have got no new updates available. This is their latest version. And this is basically their second beta. And I just forgot to mention that they do have some additional features, like if you want privacy, they've got a privacy scanner, social networking protection, data theft prevention, and you can also securely erase your files. They've got a vault where you can store files in password protected mode. You've got direct pass password manager so you can easily sign into your website. This thing might be quite useful for most people if you trust Trend Micro of course. And then they have uh, safe sync. So they do have a lot of pro version features but I'm a bit disappointed that they could add all these features, but they didn't give you a full featured firewall. But apart from that, it, the user interface looks really great and uh, they do have zero day features, so I have no issues there. Now this thing is quite dependent on the cloud, so I would be expecting the memory usage to be low. Now let's check it. They do run uh, quite a few processes, and at the moment it's really high. 
It's using about 160 megabytes of RAM, but uh, that's not all that important. We'll check the system performance, and uh, for the moment, it doesn't seem to be slowing down the system too much. So let's get started with the link test. So as usual, I've got uh, 10 links. We'll try them out. Most of these are fairly new. Some of these have really do low detection rates. So we'll just try them and see how Trend Micro protects us. So the first website is blocked by their website filter, which is really neat. I like their website filter. It seems to be doing a pretty good job. Let's try out the next one. This one is also blocked as a dangerous website. Oops. All right. And the third link. No response so far. Let's try it out again. All right, so the third link is also blocked. So far, so good for Trend Micro. Now here is something that had a fairly low detection rate. Let's try it out. Okay, this goes past the website filter. We'll run it. And this should give us a chance to find out how well the behavior blocker works, if it's not caught by the signatures, of course. In fact, I'm not even sure if this malware, so let's see what happens. So it's from an unknown publisher, and suspicious file blocked. <clears throat> so that's their zero day in action, people. So that's really good to see that uh, it blocked this low detection rate malware. Now we've got a phishing website. Let's see if they block it. Well, that's a bit disappointing. So it didn't block this phishing website. Now this is basically, again, a fake Google Docs version that uh, tries to convince you that it's Google and that you can view shared documents and you can log in with Gmail or Yahoo or pretty much whatever you want. And then, of course, once you type in your username and password, they use it to hack into your email account. And basically, they can do pretty much anything after they find out your email address and password. So I'm not happy that Trend Micro let this one through, considering it's a paid program and they have uh, they have a pretty decent website filter. So bit disappointed that wasn't blocked. Okay, this one's blocked. This was a zip file containing some malware. Here's another phishing website. Let's try this out and see if um, Trend Micro can stop it. Okay, this one is blocked. So they do have some anti-phishing, but the last one wasn't in their signatures. Now this is another zip file and the website is blocked. That's good to see. Let's try out this one. Now this is also a file that has a fairly low detection ratio. So let's see how Trend Micro deals with it. It's a fairly large file as well. I mean, large compared to most Trojans. And this website is also blocked by Trend Micro. So that is impressive because uh, this thing had a really low detection rate in Varstol. Maybe just about five or six engines caught it. And the last link is also blocked. So, a very good performance in the prevention test, managing a perfect clean sheet, and also showing that its zero-day features are robust. But that's not the end of the story. 
in fact uh, the real battle is just going to begin so for the moment I'll just uh, pause their protection and grab my malware samples and then we can find out what kind of detection rate they offer so as usual I've got 500 pieces of malware they're all fairly new they're just from uh, just from yesterday technically you can call them zero day malware I'm not sure but these samples are basically less than a day old so let's try them out and uh, we'll see if Trend Micro does a good job here. So I'm going to do a right click scan and as you can see their user interface is pretty neat but is their scan speed neat? I'm not sure. Let's wait and find out. So I'll be back uh, when the scan's done. The scan has finally completed. It took almost forever and uh, the reason for the really slow scan speed is probably the fact that it has to check up all these unknown files in the cloud. So if you're scanning something that's more well known like let's say regular clean files then the scanning speed will be much better but if all the files you're scanning are unknown then it's going to just check them in the cloud and it's going to take a long time. This might not be a concern for everyday users because they probably won't have so many unknown files on their system but definitely it's something they could work on so the scan speed is quite slow. But anyway let me just um, close out of their user interface there is another bit of a slight bug in their scanning process. Uh, they don't show you the um, actual completion or the actual progress percentage. It just gets stuck at 0% and uh, it tells you how many items it has scanned but the percentage is stuck at 0 until the very end. So hopefully since this is a beta they probably have these issues uh, listed out and they're probably working on it already. If not, I will be reporting it. But that being said, let's get to the samples. So we've got 186 items. Now that's a lot, but um, maybe their real-time protection will catch some more because um, this is cloud-based so the scan is not entirely accurate. So it's just because the scan doesn't detect it doesn't necessarily mean that everything is not in their signatures. As you can see, there you go, one more is caught. So I'll try to run around with these files for some time and I'll give it some more time to analyze these files and I'll do a few more scans and then when everything's done and uh, I stop getting these alerts, that's when I will resume the video. It looks like all these files have finally been processed by a trend micro and there's no more stuff that it can detect. So let's see what kind of detection ratio this gives us. It's definitely not a great one. So that's basically 73.6%, well below the considered average score of like 80%. 75 to 80 is okay, I guess, but 73.6 falls below the, I mean, my basic standards. But um, that's often the case with cloud security products. They don't necessarily give you an accurate detection ratio because they work very differently. So let's see if it can protect us against these files. That's what's uh, ultimately the most important thing. I don't care if uh, I see these files as long as they're not able to infect the system. So let's try running these and as you can see this one is caught for suspicious behavior. So this will be a good test of their zero day protection and uh, that is something that is most important. This one is also blocked so we'll delete the file. Just keep deleting these Let's try out this one and again it's blocked. 
So we're seeing a lot of uh, zero-day blocking and that is what makes me really happy. Here is another thing that's blocked because it's suspicious. Let's try running some more. Again, suspicious file blocked. So far so good. Okay, this one seems to have run successfully. This one is blocked. One thing I'd like to highlight about Trend Micro and most cloud security suites is uh, that cloud protection doesn't necessarily mean fast protection. Yeah, it may use lesser system resources, but sometimes it can cause your protection to be delayed, which can be dangerous in some occasions. So I'm not a big fan of entirely cloud-based security. I feel that the application itself should be able to take some decisions. And uh, in some cases, uh, you need offline protection because the world is um, not that well connected to the internet yet. We've got lots of people who don't have internet on the go. In fact, the majority of people when they're traveling, they generally don't have internet on their laptops. You don't have Wi-Fi access everywhere. So, I mean, security is something that should be there with you all the time. It shouldn't be only there when you're connected. I guess lots of people are connected all the time. In that case, it doesn't make a difference. But I'd still like to see some kind of offline protection from all the cloud security suites. Or if they have a HIPS, it's not a concern because then they do give you a lot of protection. So your system cannot be modified. It doesn't matter whether the file is detected or not. And um, sometimes the speed at which it um, blocks the files can be quite reduced because it has to check them up in the cloud. And some products that don't block the file until they find it to be malicious. So by the time they do find the file, the damage might have been already done. But Trend Micro seems to be fairly well responsive in terms of behavioral blocking. Uh, that's something that I'm really happy with. In fact, I've run so many files and uh, it's blocked almost like 80 to 90 percent of these. And uh, that's a very high number, especially for zero day protection. You generally don't get to see products with um, really good zero day protection. So let's see how Trend Micro does. I have a few more to run. All right, let's run this. Smiley face. So as you can see, we're getting a lot of alerts from the behavioral blocking system. So that is something that seems to be working very well in this version. I remember the previous version where it was responsive, but not as much as we're seeing right now. I mean, right now it seems far more powerful and robust. So I'm happy that they've worked on that. And um, as far as you can see, there is absolutely no user input required. So this might be a great product if uh, the user does not have a fair knowledge of uh, security and basically doesn't want to take any decisions uh, himself or herself. And uh, as you can see, it's doing everything automatically. It's just blocking you and all you have to do is hit OK to be protected. Even if you don't hit OK, I guess that's fine. So maybe in an office environment or, or in a place where um, the user is uh, not really, doesn't have the time maybe to answer alerts and you really can't have any kind of, um, you know, questions for the user, this might be a very useful thing. But let's find out how well it actually did because my, as you've probably already noticed, I've not uh, said this yet but the desktop background has been changed and that's not a very pleasant thing so what I'll do now is I'll reboot the system and um, allow it to properly load up and then I will start doing some scans and I'll get back to you guys with the results here is the word from uh, all our scanners MCSoft first uh, 
reported the system is clean, so did Malwarebytes, and so did Hitman Pro. So despite running so many files, we have no damage done to the system. It's perfectly fine. There's nothing weird going around. Our homepage hasn't been messed with, and uh, Trend Micro is running in the background as well. So I would definitely say that I've been impressed by this result. It's a very good result. Although the detection ratio wasn't that great, it doesn't really matter as long as it prevents the malware from entering your system. And in that aspect, it did a really good job. It prevented all the files from running and uh, damaging the system. So I'm really impressed with their new behavior blocker, which seems to be far more effective. And uh, the new user interface too is uh, really appealing. And they've done really well in pretty much every aspect. The prevention test uh, was perfect, managed an absolute clean sheet, and I'm seeing a clean sheet in the last part of the test after quite a while. I haven't seen products doing this well very recently, so I'm really happy with the way this beta has performed. I hope the small issues that still remain with this kind of program are fixed in the final version, so that's when I'll be giving it uh, my final test, and uh, that's when I'll be giving you guys the final recommendation as to whether or not you should buy this, but for the moment it's looking really promising. I'm really happy with the user interface and the way this program works. It's really easy to use, especially for users that uh, don't want any options. I mean, for that, the zero day is really good because I haven't seen a lot of uh, programs that can do uh, so well in the zero day section without asking you a single question. So their suspicious file blocking was really excellent and um, it, it just uh, saved the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Subscribe, comment, and rate this video. If you liked it, uh, be sure to hit the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next Peace Security Channel video. Have a good one.